Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to the beautiful city of Raptoria yet again in Foundation. How are you? Great. Me too. We're all doing wonderful here in this city as things are starting to grow and promotions are available. Let's go ahead and get started by promoting somebody to surf and see what we can do. Let's go ahead and make Jane a surf today. And there we go. Our first newcomers are complete. Our city is getting even better and bigger. So welcome again to all the people who are subscribing, all you new subs. Welcome aboard. And thanks to everybody clicking and tapping that join button, becoming members as well to support the channel directly. Welcome to subs and people smashing like and subscribers and peoples and folks and all sorts of kin. Welcome now. Good to see you here. We got a lot of people joining us, actually. That's wonderful. Two new people passing by the city who now want to become citizens. And we have homes that are being built. Multiple homes, maybe it looks like. And uh, hopefully we have more people joining us very soon. Well, things are going quite well in this city as it's now experienced an update. Foundation has an update, and if you missed out on our first episode, make sure you go watch it because now we're going to start building some bigger and better things. But we got to expand our territory a little bit first. So I'm going to try to buy a tile over here and see if I can expand our great lands. Now we could also get one for free, so it looks like we will in this case get one because we completed some of our quests. And I'm going to start telling all of our loggers to go cut down over there too so that way we can bring back some more wood and clear this area for home construction which is this is probably what it's going to be used for mostly is just homes and probably logs somewhere else so let's go ahead and continue our construction and our expansion we'll knock out these forests here and see if we can bring in some more logs wonderful ah, more people moving into the village good now what do we have here for market berries 45 15 being sold this week all right we might need some more market places here very soon and we're also importing tools, which are important for all the construction. More tax dollars need to come in, so that means more food being sold, probably. Looks like we can also do some farming, too, but we still need to expand our city a little bit beforehand. An envoy is requesting an audience. Let's see. Seems to be mounted on his horse. My lord. Ah, we need to deliver berries. Who exactly would be best to deliver to? Looks like if we deliver to the king, we'll unlock wooden keeps, wooden walls, and large stone walls. I want to deliver to the clergy because that'll unlock um, additional uh, parts for the church and also we can get a church up and running too and that'll be a really good thing for us to begin with. So let's go down the clergy direction. Excellent. And so we should be able to deliver that. We have a new quest to deliver those. Beautiful. And we should be able to do that or maybe we already completed it. Okay. So let's see. If we're going to build a church we'll need to build it around here somewhere between the two uh, towns. In fact, look, the market, uh, the church is already unlocked and it'll be good to put it down by the market. If we build a neighborhood here and here, the church would be perfect to be between the two. Plus, it'll be near the marketplace and that's going to have a lot of foot traffic, which means a lot more money for us. So we're going to need these uh, loggers, I think, to move out of the way. So we'll leave that lumber camp there for now. Let's build a new one over here where we're going to start more permanent logging operations. We can actually put it right here next to the mining camp. And we'll do logging and mining right here. We'll start construction on that. Perfect. All right, we have an un a lot of unemployed. We have a three out of three on foragers. Ah, looks like uh, one person has decided to come by. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to do, I think. No, I did that. Berries are here in storage. Good. I wonder if we can actually put a second slot for berries. I don't know exactly if there's a maximum or not. So since that's our only food source for now. That's a good idea to put there. 88% on the happiness. That's great. Money not going too bad either. I believe we'll get some bonuses if we complete that. Uh, next quest, and then it'll cover the money. Oh, there we are. Deliver berries. Perfect. Ah, good. We got a bunch of coins. Wonderful. Bunch a lot of coins. Awesome. Okay, let's see. What's our next quest then? No quest at the moment. But our really, our quest should be to build a church. That should be our next big old quest. One, two, three, four... Five homes have been constructed in the city now so far. Uh, with each being two, gives us home for ten. Unfortunately, that means eight people are still homeless then. They're very picky about where they build their homes in this game. Even if there's lots of land uh, to build a house, uh, they just sometimes don't like to put it down. Oh, a sheep statue. Can't build that yet. All right. Well, I want to clear the way now for a rustic church. So I want to get more of our people on logging. So anybody who's free, come on over here. You guys are now loggers. Let's demolish the old lumber camp. And we'll build another one over here. We'll leave those people unemployed for now. 
It's okay, we're just moving jobs. They could take a couple days off. They earned it. Clearing all this land for Raptoria. Heck yeah. Gonna build a big old city over there. And eventually probably put farming down here. So the next time we expand, this will be good farmland and then also fishing too. Looks like we have a little territory to build a fishing dock as well. But we opted to help the clergy first. So that'll be just fine. Alright, let's assign some more workers. So three out of three here. Three out of three there. Excellent. Six people working on cutting down trees. Good work. Good work, everybody. Good work. Lots of planks in storage. 116 to be precise. 72. Nope. 77 stone. Wood at 36. Would you believe that? And money flowing in like crazy. Wonderful. We're going to have to upgrade that... Uh, the uh, town hall to have more of a treasury. Who is unemployed right now? Let's see. Nobody's unemployed. There's another person coming to town, but we'll get them a job shortly. And we'll have to upgrade the market, too, to have more uh, shops within it. We'll probably build a market that goes down this way, and it'll be perfect. It'll be right next to the granary, warehouse. We can sell all sorts of things here. It's kind of like our commercial area and our building zone right here. All right, I wanted to keep these uh, trees here. And I wanted to create some sort of a form for our homes. There we go. Ah, forbidden land is also land that they can't build on. There we go. Anything to get people to build a house now. I almost feel like I'm tricking our people into building a home. All right, we can also move the lumber mill too, but that's a good spot for it. I don't think anybody's going to build a home there. Okay. Well, let's get even more land cleared. Do we have anything for storage here? Ah, uh, we do. The warehouse is assigned to have a lot more storage. Let's get more people working there. Everybody's bringing supplies over like crazy. Gold is plus six. We'll be able to buy more territory soon. Probably a good idea to buy as much territory as possible at the start, so that way you can quickly go into the different industries that are available, such as farming. Might be a good idea for us to buy this land and then bridge across it. Hmm. But this land will do for farming and to give us a, additional wood on that side. But no matter what, we got to clear a lot of the forest so that way we can build an actual town. Wow, things are going really well. Look at everybody working. Lots of people doing lots of work. Okay, we can actually get started on the construction of the church if we uh, build it here. We eventually will need to demolish the rustic church and build a better church. Eventually we unlock a stone one, and it's so good that it's just a great idea to eventually uh, just redo the church altogether. I think we'll build it back here in this little nook, and then we'll build the town on either side. So let's start here. Okay, time for the church. We have our core. Excellent. And we'll build a multi-core for this one. And actually, you can see where the influence of the church will be, too. So people on this side of the town will definitely be affected by it. But happiness overall are effect is affected by whether or not the church is of a certain size. So it's a good idea to make the church kind of a ridiculously sized building. There we go. Okay. That looks nice. Okay. We'll build some more uh, thingies down the side of the church. The church is very expensive, but a very important building. Because it also becomes very full of people very quickly. And if you look at the church and look at the steeple, you can open the door and look at all the people. That's another thing you can do, too. Okay, well, that's going to be asymmetrical, and I think I like that, actually. Plus, we're going to have to demolish it anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Because we'll build a bigger and better church here at some point, and that's going to be just awesome. Let's see what we got for decorations. Just a sheep statue. And let's see what else have we unlocked. Ah, stonemason's hut. Perfect. A stonemason is going to be really good for making polished stone, and that will be required eventually. I'll we'll have to build, like, an industrial zone. Let's build it over here, actually, because it'll be able to take stone from 
uh, the warehouse here, and then we could probably build another warehouse back there to store even more stuff. But let's put the church at the top priority. Make sure all of our construction crews put that first. All right. So watch this now. The church will be constructed live. And we'll kind of watch it as it eventually expands over time. All the materials being delivered by the people in the village. Bringing lots of materials. Now the bigger church made of stone will require polished stone. And it'll also require stained uh, glass windows and... Uh, lots more polished stone than any other building. Probably the monastery is the only other thing that takes more stone than the big churches. But it's that way for a reason. Alright, money is creeping up to the big 500 again. What's our next quest? Anything to do? Nothing at the moment. Promotion available for some of our villagers, but we'll just start with one. And money dwindling a little bit now. But that's okay. Rise and fall in our kingdom. So today our main focus is the church and clearing out all lands for residential homes because one of the things that's most important is giving people a place to live and then eventually feeding them. So first give everybody a home, then feed them food, and that'll increase the global happiness over time. Hmm. Looks like we have uh, nine serfs already in the city. Perfect. Ah, look at that. The desirability around the church is insane. Let's go ahead and tell our people that they can all build here. Anywhere you'd like, go right ahead. Just keep off the uh, mountain, I guess. And also, the l literally building in the church. Probably not a good idea. There we go. Okay. Now, eventually, these logging sites will move, too. So, it's possible that we'll be able to build homes all around this area with the uh, commercial and industrial areas down here for building homes. Okay. The church is probably approaching halfway done. Three sections look almost com entirely built. Now, this is a new thing in the game, too, is scaffolding and people walking around to actually construct things. It's a lot more uh, detail to it than before. So actually building stuff, you can see it go up in sections. Now, they did have something like that before, but a lot of things have been reworked in this recent update, and it's always a great excuse to play Foundation again. Here comes an envoy hightailing it into town. What do you need, sir? What can we do for you? Uh, we have to click on him, though. Okay, so where do we need a little bit more love? Let's see, we did help out the clergy. So we have five, or rather ten, to unlock things in the future. Things like the monastery and whatnot. Or rustic church additional parts. I think the best one to help now will probably be the labor. And that way we'll get, uh, when we get enough serfs, we'll get Fisher's Hut, Hedge, and Builder's uh, Workshop for a sculpture. That's cool. Well, let's help the people, then. Five bread. Oh, we won't be able to do that because we're not yet producing um, any sort of bread, and nor would I be able to import it. So we'll skip that one for now, and we'll go on to the next one. Building farms is something I'll do very soon. I just want to make sure we have other industries taken care of before we do that. Plus, people can live off berries for quite a long time before we need to do that. In fact, I'd rather go berries, fish, and then... Uh, bread. You're going to need a lot of people. Think about that. You need people farming, working the mill, then the bakery, plus you need wells built, too, to support the bakery, because, uh, obviously, uh, well, flour is made from wheat, and then the flour needs to be combined with water in order to make dough, and it makes it perfect. It makes a lot of dough, too, in terms of cash. And money's good, right, everybody? That's right. All right. So one of the biggest problems I have in this game, and I don't know if anybody else who's played this has had this trouble, is really getting homes to be built. Once you've cut down all the trees and stuff, it kind of becomes difficult for people to move in. I'm going to make sure our loggers cut down those areas too. Sometimes people are very picky about where they build homes, and even if you make a huge, like, giant Walmart parking lot size area, they're just like, no, tis not enough space, my lord. And it's like, hey, ma'am, you get in there. You get in that house. You be happy now. But they're picky. Oh, this is going to look really nice. So we'll leave a clump of trees next to the church. Probably a good idea to make it look a little nicer. And eventually we'll remove all that. Alright, we have people moving into the city constantly. That's great. We'll eventually need to assign some of these people for stonemason work. 
Ah, which means we need to work imports then, so we might have to start trading after all soon. Well, let's go to our trade menu. See if we can import something other than uh, tools. They're selling barrels, tools, glass, honey, and fish. Hmm. Might be a good idea to diversify our diet by importing fish, but that's going to be quite expensive. Next thing we need to do is unlock Davenport, which requires 20 bread. Now, unfortunately, we can't buy that from anybody. We'll have to make that until uh, later. And, of course, these guys will sell us grapes, bread, herbs, polished stone, too. So where do we import fabric? Looks like we'll have to make that ourselves. So sheep farming is going to have to be the next thing we do, too, in order to unlock future trade partners. So sheep turned into textile and then turned into a clothing through the tailor. And that'll be a good thing, too. But I think the church construction is our top priority right now. Let's assign some more builders, then. How many builders do we have? Let's see. Let's assort by job. Ah. So we have three builders, two carpenters, three forgers. Great. A lot of woodcutters and a few unemployed, which we're saving on purpose for jobs of the future, such as the uh, stonemason hut down here. That'll take a little bit to build, though. So let's buy, buy some territory here. Can we do that? Let's speed things up a little bit. I want to do some more stuff. So if we buy territory, the king will let us buy this territory. And money is coming in quite quickly. Hmm. I'm tempted to buy this land just so we can start with the sheep production. And keep it away from the homes, too. It's something that's just a, it's ba it's a gross business. It's stinky. But we'll need it. Let's go ahead and buy that territory. And let's extract all the trees. There we go. Give our logging crews full permission to cut that all down. That'll be fertile farming grounds and also perfect for sheep. And then, of course, we can start producing clothing, which will be the next most important thing after food. Great hall and the treasury are assigned. Wonderful. Happiness at 100%. But I think we can do better. Keep clearing out all that area. More residential homes to be built. Great. Now, as you've noticed, we don't have uh, the ability to plant wheat fields yet, but that's assigned by each wheat uh, farm. We also can build the reforestation hut, and I think we're probably going to do that over here somewhere. We could probably have raw materials such as stone and uh, possibly iron and additional wood be logged out of there so we can have ourselves a big city. Gonna be like New York City! Just like from those Pace Picante commercials from years ago. Oh, do I love those Pace Picante commercials. Let's build some more, uh, let's see, logging huts so we can get some more people here to work. Where are those uh, logging camps? There they are. Let's see. We'll build another one back over here. So this one's coming back from the past. Let's go ahead and put it over this way. Beautiful. Start construction. All right, so we'll assign some people to work there, and then we will get this side of the village cut down too. Now, as for exports, we should probably start trading things for export. Although I want to keep some of the materials. But we'll need to do something. So let's see if we can actually add some more stuff over here. What do we want to add? Well, let's go ahead and start selling some planks. So let's see. Sell any above a certain value. Let's sell all but 25. Let's get some money. That'll take a few trades anyway. We won't get the money right away. It'll take a little time. Stone is good. And raw logs. I'm going to keep a lot of raw logs for home building. Looks like more tools need to be purchased in order for us to finish the rest of the church. So that'll be perfect for our next trade. Slow and go here. But it's going great. A lot of people have moved into the town. And we'll have access to more food. In fact, we'll have fishing, farming, and fruits. Ready to go soon, as soon as all that stuff is built up. 
We've got access to it. We just need to build it now. Lots less money coming in. We need more people stopping by the uh, berry market. Oh, that's great. A lot of reserve. And a promotion available, too. All right, as soon as the church is complete, the lumber mill uh, logging camps will be up and operational, cutting down even more trees. Look at that. They're clear-cutting quite effectively. Good job. Very nice. And then we'll cut down this side, too. So let's see. Can we add sheep farms yet? Let me just check here. We have ourselves uh, blacksmith, iron smelter, coal, bakery. Oh, looks like we can't do sheep just yet. But we probably can as soon as the church is done. We'll unlock a few more things. Interestingly enough, no quests, but it should be guiding us to build the church. Really, that's the next important thing. And then also to complete some extra jobs for the king. Which hopefully they come by with an envoy for more berry quests. Regardless, we can at least do uh, some sort of farming over there. And we can even put a mill somewhere nearby, too. Maybe up here on the hill? A mill on a hill. Wouldn't that be nice? Good. All tools and things required are delivered. Now the construction crews just need to simply build. Very good. Money increasing from our trades. Great. And we'll keep a lot of that regular stone for uh, making a polished stone as soon as we have the trade available. We will need to make fabrics ourselves soon. And unfortunately, the stonemason hut doesn't have the 15, the 5 that's required to build it. Soon, though. Soon. Soon. Look at some of these people. They're just walking around with a crate strapped to their back. That doesn't look any comfortable at all. Be nice if the people walked around with horses or something with a little small... Uh, buggy or carriage or something for initial trade. Good, that was definitely worth the purchase. Almost like the Wh Louisiana purchase over here. Some good territory that we need. Okay. Five out of five. We actually do have the uh, material for it. Great. And we'll hire a stonemason to start polishing those stone. Fantastic. And we can sell those at a higher price. Okay, let's see who else we can hire. Let's hire another transporter. Keep goods flowing quickly. And what about the granary here? Oh, the church has noticed your dedication to God and thus holds you in a higher regard. Wonderful. Plus 10 for building the church. Great. The rustic church was definitely a beautiful and beneficial building. Let's get the granary completely full so there's no delays in future food deliveries. And good, now the church is complete. A very simple building, but very important. Church kind of looks nice. Very, very long, though, but of course, since I built it a little extra large, it can now support, uh, let's see, 60 people can actually be here. So we won't have to worry about that for a while. Also, it doesn't seem like there's a need yet to assign a priest. That's not yet a thing in the, uh, in the game. All right, members only. I see that we can uh, rename buildings in the game. So if you are a member, go ahead and give me some suggestions of what we should name it down below in the comment section, and I might rename some of these buildings in the future. Looks like we can rename the church and maybe the uh, maybe the manor as well. Yes, it looks like we can rename the Lord's Manor. So if you want that, Raptor Ultimate members or whatnot, go ahead and feel free to slap your name on it. That's your coveted shout out there for all your support. All right, well, we have ourselves... A lot of space now to build additional homes. So hopefully we increase the desirability of these areas by adding some more uh, wells to the area. So let's do that again. And also by adding shops. So we could add another market over here too. But let's put another well on this side right in the center. And we could actually build like a little marketplace here. A small food hut and a clothing uh, cellar there as well. All right, well, all these buildings have got to be built, but we need that forest to be out of the way. All right, that can be moved out of there. Nobody wanting to move in there either. You can see how picky they are, I tell you. They don't want to build their houses nowhere. All right, 
keep cutting that down, folks. There we go. All right, perfect. And the well is going up, too. And we can sell some more food then at another berry hut. But we need to get some more variety going. Oh, our envoy was there. I must have missed him. Darn. That's a shame. I missed our little envoy. I wish it made a different noise for that, but regardless, it would have just been to increase our relationship with somebody. Uh, like, for example, the uh, uh, the estates or whatnot. But we need to hire some more serfs to unlock more buildings. Looks like we have actually 8.10 on that one. Good. Okay, let's upgrade some serfs then. I think we can do that. How do we promote? We'll have to do that at the end of the month, I believe. Promotions will be available. So that'll be coming pretty soon. We'll upgrade some more serfs now that we actually have some more... more. Uh, building your town is a little bit more important than promotions. So that's something that you need to keep in, in mind and keep track of. A lot of people at the well. Let me build another well here. And see if that helps people to uh, build their homes. Got to convince them into building homes. There's 28 people here. Each home can hold... Oh, it looks like max capacity of six. So everybody should have a home then. So actually... Hmm, that's the upgraded homes though. If they so choose to upgrade. Maybe there is enough. Alright. Well, looks like the uh, forgers are forging from over here now. We don't necessarily need to do that just yet. You guys can go forge from right next to your hut. There. Perfect. Alright, so the rest of the trees need to be cut down. Then we got plenty of room for farming. Plenty of room for homes. I'm still going to try to build all of this area on this side to be homes. And then farms and then more farms, and then industrial areas over here. So you can see everything starting to take shape, no problem. Good. Another uh, well has been complete. Good. Very good. Soon. Soon. Beautiful. All right, next envoy, we'll try to trade berries, though those seem to be a little less than usual. So let's build ourselves another gathering hut here. Now that that mammoth's gotten that tree out of the way. Thank you, ma'am. So we'll increase our food production so that way we can meet some other goals from the uh, from the priests or whomever may stop by. Okay, lots of berry storage there. And more people coming to town. Beautiful. Almost up to 30. And uh, let's assign some more workers to the logging. And we'll get that all cleared out. Let's take a look at population. Uh, nobody unemployed. Two more people on the way, though. And so they can be put to work at the new... Uh, forester building. Uh, forger building. Perfect. What about decorations? How are we doing on that? Hmm. We still need 15 serfs in order to unlock that. It's going to take a few days before we can do it. Could expand on the Lord Manor, though. What do we have for... Uh, Polished stone sitting there. 22 polished stone sitting there. That's not really that much, actually. So we'll keep on creating that. I believe the uh, fountain took 25, so we'll kind of wait a little bit longer before we upgrade this building. And eventually I'd like to put a fence around it and move some of these buildings out of the way. Okay, well at least we gave our people plenty of land to expand into. Let's go ahead and get these people assigned jobs. Good. Oh, and we should actually allow them to for uh, forge from this building. There we go. Cool. All right. Now, the next things that we can unlock are, uh, for example, fishing. So if we look under, yes, estates, uh, we'll need 20 serfs in order to unlock fishers' huts, hedges, and builders' workshops. So it seems like it's going to be a really good thing to build. Oh, not to mention the tavern, too. Very good. I think the best thing for us to do, we'll probably do the labor first, then the church. Although the splendor for that is quite high because we built such a nice church. So that was a good way to get that. Also, for the kingdom, if we build ourselves a bigger uh, fortress when the time comes, a bigger wooden keep, that helps. And also uh, the uh, upgrading of the lord's house. All right, let's upgrade a few serfs here. 
Okay. Looks like that's all we had money for. Splendor of the Village is upgraded. Beautiful. Ah, wonderful. Now we've unlocked additional parts. And we've unlocked a wooden keep. Now we can begin with our military stuff if we'd like to. And the military will actually let us go on conquests, which then we can bring in even more cash. So let's build ourselves a wooden keep. Excellent. So now we'll start building a, a military fortress. Uh, let's see. We shall uh, allow you to establish an outpost in your territory. You'll be able to participate in military campaigns. Don't forget this is a privilege. Ah, uh, yes. We will definitely do that. But we'll need to build the... Uh, the wooden keeps first, and I think the best place to put that might be up on this hill. Build like a giant, uh, like a guard tower up here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll build it up here, I think. There we go. Build a nice little fortress up here. Nice. Now we're gonna make it simple to begin with. The more complex that we make it, the uh, the harder it's going to be to actually construct and get started quickly. Apparently we can only build it on that side. Well, let's get rid of that building. Let's rotate. We, of course, want to build it on the edge of the border. Ah, there we are. Oh, wow, that's going to take a lot of materials. Okay, we'll start with a basic structure such as this. It'll take us 100 coins to build two. So we'll need to get a little bit more money before we can actually approve that construction. And we're losing cash due to probably a lack of trade uh, at the moment. Let's see, what are we trading? Actually, we're trading quite a bit of uh, planks. So we can just increase our trade. and uh, Or people need to go on a big buying spree and get some more food going. Some more vittles. Ah, wonderful, look at They've almost cut, uh, chopped down the entire forest. It's actually very good. Let's go ahead and approve some more trade then. What else are these guys buying? Uh, planks and berries. Well, we're kind of low on berries. So we'll assign some more people to food production. And then we'll approve the uh, construction of the uh, of the uh, wooden keep. Though it's not really crucial. Additional parts for the wooden ch uh, the church. We can approve that. Good. And once we've uh, built this, this will allow us to uh, complete some more of the goals for the kingdom. Wonderful. Is there an envoy on the way? All right. I don't want to miss the next envoy, so I'll have to try to keep an eye out for him. He can be a fast one there. Okay. Let's see. Well, it looks like a lot of traffic is going down this way. And we've got a lot, a lot of room for future homes. Perfect. We're going to have a guard tower up here. This is going to look cool. Guard tower on the top of the hill, church at the bottom, farms over here, town going all the way around the river. It's going to be glorious. Very glorious. All right, we almost got enough to build this thing, too, just a hundo on the gold coins. So we're almost there. And hopefully we have ourselves a bunch of people buying food soon, because that'll also bop up their happiness. So that'll be good. Looks like there's no berries available, so it's very important that our wouldn't keep, I mean, our granary delivers everything that they need to. It's all on them to go out and get materials. Ah, there's the envoy now. Hello. Okay, let's see. We need to deliver fish. Oh, darn. We don't have that unlocked. It's, it's going to have to be uh, berries only. So hopefully the king asks for uh, berries next time. Yeah, I guess it's completely random as to whether they ask for bread, berries, or fish. And we need berries only for the time being so we can unlock the fish in the future. The fish are our future. And that might smell fishy, but there's no uh, doubt about it. You can, out, you can weigh the uh, consequences and the differences, but the scales are in our favor. Thank you. Appreciate that, guys. Wow. Good comedy, right? That's right. That's right. Awesome. Okay, we're going to wait for money to come in to build this thing. I'll just leave it on my uh, my list here for now. And we'll hit the go button as soon as enough cash comes in. 
Then what I think we'll have to have happen is, let's see, homes, plenty of room for. Uh, we just need the envoy to come with the correct uh, thing so we can trade berries, so that way we can then uh, complete the next quest to unlock the uh, fishing building. So fish should solve all of our food problems. We should never have that ever again. And we'll build some fishing docks here and also some uh, wheat farms and uh, also some... Um, Maybe some sheep and other things. Uh, whatever else might come our way. Okay, so now we're just waiting on the envoy. Happiness at 82%. Money flowing into the treasury. Beautiful. And another construction project underway for our fortress, which will allow us to participate in military uh, campaigns. We'll have to uh, first build this building. Then we'll have to do training for our people. We'll need some recruits. But got to get that population up before we can send people out to battle. Because we're going to need a lot of troops. I think you need about 10 or so to participate in uh, some of those conflicts. And they need to be trained too, so it takes a while. Alright, the rest of the trees are going great. Awesome. Remember, not cutting down a tree is treason in our in our fine land. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On sub now, it's only going to get worse. Alright, let's also do a little bit of extraction here. wouldn't mind cutting down a few more trees away from the... Uh, church, and then eventually we'll rebuild the church to be even bigger. It'll probably end up being a longer church, but that's fine. Okay, so 15 planks in, on board. Tools are great. Lots of logs for future home construction. There we go. This is what I wanted. Wow, look at that. Just two episodes in and we've really expanded our construction. Any other free territories? No. If we do get future territory, I'm probably going to buy here. Um, so that way, or maybe actually here. Wherever there might be uh, iron. I need to find where iron might be in the future. Hopefully it's not too far away. Plus there's additional berries there. And berries now actually dissipate if you over-harvest them. So I think we can probably do like two or three berry huts on each source. But it's uh, it's anybody's guess, I suppose. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to be leaving you for today. If you want to see more of this, make sure you smash that like button on the way out. Thanks again for everybody subscribing. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell. A lot of people forget that and missing out on streams left and right. A lot of people always saying they miss stuff and they relate, so don't forget to do that. If you get a notification and you don't want to watch, that's fine. Just ignore it, but at least you were notified. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. Welcome to all the new members, subs, and everyone else supporting. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day.